In the grand complication, fixing clocks is hard. But when a young orphan discovers that time itself is broken, it's a job that calls for a wizard. Please welcome Writers of the Future Judge Robert J. Sawyer and Illustrators of the Future presenter, Aramis Knight. Christopher Renaga, author of The Grand Complication, was nine when he had a dream that he would grow up to be a writer, a dream that is starting to come true. He is a graduate of Clarion West and a winner of a Bazzanella Literary Award, as well as a quarterly fi first place finalist in the L. Ron Hubbard Writers of the Future competition. Please congratulate author Christopher Renaga. Wow. Um, let me see here. I'd like to start by, um, by actually thanking my, uh, uh, my Clarion West classmates and teachers, as well as my classmates and teachers here at Writers of the Future. Um, you've taught me so much, and the friendships that we've made here are going to last our entire lives. I'd also like to uh, uh, thank my fiance Maggie, uh, my mother and father, my sisters, my family and friends who are all watching tonight. Um, you believed in my dream uh, to become a writer, and it's coming true. And finally, I'd like to thank L. Ron Hubbard, who, without his incredible imagination, none of this would be possible. Thank you. Olivia Xu, illustrator for The Grand Complication, lived in Nanjing, China for 22 years before moving to New York for graduate school in 2011. Currently, Olivia is attending the 3D Animation and Motion Art Program at Pratt Institute, but will never give up her passion for illustration. Please welcome artist Olivia Xu. Tonight, I feel so special to be here, not only for the awards, but also as the only international student. Um, at first, I want to thank Aaron Hubbard for making all of this happen, as well as all my um, wonderful judges and fellow winners to help, like, we had such a wonderful time. It's almost like a dream, for me, like a dream come true moment for me. Um, I, and finally, I want to thank my, all my family. Actually, like my grandfather was visiting New York last summer at the age of 33, of 83. Yeah, and we actually watched Mary Poppins together. He had such a wonderful time at the Broadway show. And I was so proud of him. And I know tonight he will be proud of me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 